United lost my baggage. Look at these terrible glasses. It's vlog at 380. So I stayed out way too late last night. One of the skills I've clearly lost over the break is how to leave social situations at a reasonable hour so that I can edit my vlog. Gonna have to get that back. And uh, I had I had I had plans for today uh, that were not very well uh, planned out, cemented necessarily. But what we're gonna talk about today is one way or another. I, I, let's discuss this. I want to talk about where I want to go this year and how how I'm hoping life turns out in the future. I want to talk about short-term goals, but in order to talk about short-term goals, we have to know what my long-term goals are. And to better understand long-term goals, it's probably best to talk about dreams that I have. Which is probably the scariest part of this whole endeavor. I clearly lost is uh, not taking too much footage, which is exactly what I did yesterday. I took as much footage yesterday as I would have had I been moving to another country. Just way too much. It's August, which means everything is shut down in Paris. Like, <laughs> look at all these. This it's Monday. Everything is closed. Uh, Mondays are days where things close, but. Not this much things. August is the month that Paris goes on vacation. So for like the next three weeks, n there's like nothing that's gonna be open. People are gonna be under construction like Fion back there. And even the Peloton's going on break for a few weeks. What? Why? Thankfully, the local kebab is not among those going on break. Well, one unexpected problem is shaving the beard. They did not recognize me in there at all. Normally they don't know exactly what I'm gonna get and they just make it. Today they were like, who are you? I need to go for a run. I'm feeling very antsy with this day off. I haven't had an official day off of bike tours for like two or three months. I'm really feeling the need to go for a run. I'm gonna do a cooking class tonight with my buddy Sonia. Uh, which should be a lot of fun. And I'm not sure what to expect, except that we're gonna be making samosas. Uh, and I definitely need to be eating better. I don't know if samosas count for eating better or not, but considering that I just had a chicken wrap of some sort with fries, probably a lot of room for improvement. So anyways, let's go for a run. That is like the big question, right? What are the things that I'm looking for that every decision I make hopefully guides me closer to? If you don't know that, then I'll, that goals don't matter. There are two, really. Uh, one is that I want to be professionally creative. Uh, I, I want to either be a novelist full-time or like a filmmaker full-time. It's only making stuff, which is about as blase as it gets. Everybody wants that, pretty much everybody. If anybody you follow on YouTube wants that, so. I'm about as unique as they come, what can I say? I want to be spending more of my time honing the writing craft. Like I want to be writing fantasy and science fiction. I love doing that. I want to do more. But that's a long tail career. Like being a writer full time is rare. I don't know if you guys realize this. They used to say only 200 people actually made a full time living off their writing at any given point in the United States. Zero. I think that number has grown a little bit, uh, but I don't know by how much. So it's a small club, and one that's probably gonna take me another decade, who knows how long to get to. So, short term, YouTube definitely offers a lot more uh, interaction, engagement, and the opportunity to grow an audience and build something faster uh, that can actually help the writing career in the long term. So that's one of the big reasons that I'm putting that much more effort into YouTube right now, because I really enjoy it. I really love making videos. I'm so happy to be back to vlogging. Uh, that, that, that is why I'm here. Right? So those are the big things. Like I want to be creative. Oh right. I want to be creative professionally and I want to be able to travel. Like I want to be able to see the world, learn new languages, learn new cultures, just keep experiencing life and live, I don't know, I want to live a life that I want to have good stories to tell based off my own life. Uh, good or bad. Which means you take more risks, which means uh, a lot more stressful moments, but you know, we'll get to that. So those are really kind of the two big things. And of course I would like to find somebody to share my life with. But I don't know if that's really what we should talk about in the vlog or not. It's kind of uh, dating and that kind of stuff, kind of iffy. Uh, but I probably should be brave enough to talk about that too. Anyways, back to running.
favorite dog walker in the city by far. Something in the range of four miles and 37 minutes. I didn't get credit for some of that run because I forgot to turn the app back on. So, low credit run today. So how does Paris fit into all this? A couple of things. For those of you keep a score at home, uh, it's my third time living in France. Second time in Paris. First time I lived in France, I lived in Nice. Uh, didn't really like it that much. I liked living there okay, but when I came here to visit, I was like, this is the experience I wanted. Came here, lived here, loved it. I just feel at home here. And it serves pretty much all those things that I'm looking for ultimately, right? Being here makes it easier to travel around the world because it's a lot closer to the rest of the world than where I'm originally from. People here are a lot more supportive of the arts and actually really uh, are very supportive. I have a lot of friends here who are just naturally like, yeah, let's do something with your vlog today, uh, where it's really hard to find anybody to help me out where I was previously. Romantic prospects here are simply much better here as well. Uh, not that you would ever think that romance and Paris go together, but they do. That's why it's so important to me that I be allowed to stay here. I don't know if you caught this yesterday, but there's a chance I get kicked out of the country next month. Hopefully a slim chance, but there's always a chance. So if that doesn't work out, like if living, this is in a bush. Ultimately the tricky part is that writing and vlogging and creating in whatever ways that I really want to, you know, it doesn't produce money right away. In fact, it's a career path that doesn't uh, actually pay you until you're like, way too far into it. Scooters, man, they're the worst. So since what I want to be doing with my life isn't going to pay me anytime soon, the question becomes, how do I make money in the meantime? Which is why I'm doing things like teaching English and doing bike tours, that kind of stuff, which is fun. I actually enjoy both of those, uh, but it's not what I want to do for the rest of my life, believe it or not. Actually, it could be YouTube that saves my butt when it comes to staying in France, because without YouTube, uh, if it was just my writing, I, I think there's a good chance I'd lose my visa. I've also never been to a cooking class like this before, so I don't know how much like we're gonna get to actually eat. So I'm gonna eat a little bit before I go just to make sure that I'm not starving. Also running four miles kinda makes for a hungrier human being, turns out. And here, more or less. Look at the size of that space invader, holy cow. Bonjour. What are we doing, Sonia? We're making some <laughs> I think this is yours and mine. Correct. Team us. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. She made this look incredibly easy and I'm about to make it look much more difficult than it is. <laughs> mine does not look nearly triangular enough. <sighs> Very close, but so far, so far away. thunderstorm strikes. This was really fun. Basically it was just like uh, how to make a mimosa at night. Or samosas, not mimosa. It's really good. Uh, but it's turning into a thunderstorm which actually is even better. Especially if it doesn't mean it's going to rain uh, while we're in Versailles tomorrow. 
All that to say today, this is kind of big picture stuff today. We'll start drilling down more into the specifics here soon because I think that it's really important to kind of nail down what it is we're hoping to accomplish over the year. But without knowing where I'm hoping to go long term, there's really no point. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go eat a samosa as soon as those are done. Hey, guess what, baby? Oh. Hey, Did guess we have fun? What, I had a great time. Me it's too. great. It's the lightning is coming. Oh, whoa. Hey, guess what, baby? I just thought we were gonna shove them in our face and pop. I didn't realize they're gonna come on a bed of deliciousness. I made that one right there. See vegetables. 